What's going on everyone, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're going to rotate this chain around my head. Alright, so it's super laggy in this camera, so let's just turn it to a normal, like, real-time simulation. Uh, Alright, let me just put on a webcam in the corner then. Alright, that's better. <laughs> so yeah, uh, guys, this is a third part of a tutorial for Spark AR in which we created a 3D chain. We wanted to rotate it all around our head, but we weren't really able to, and that's because I didn't know a certain thing. But Max Novak was kind enough to leave a comment on my video suggesting that I should use a head occluder, which is part of the asset package that you can get from Spark AR. So yeah, I thought let's just make a third part of this video in which I show you how to fix it and how we can actually rotate this chain around our heads uh, when it gets like invisible, when it rotates like around your head, I guess. So yeah, uh, let's just dive into it. So the first part that I wanted to do is I want to grab these chains and I want to put them in the face tracker so they will follow like my face here. If we go into the chains material, I think, yeah, we did the blend, we, we let's just put the blend mode back to like alpha. Uh, here you can kind of see what's happening here. So let's just grab the chains here, make it move up a little bit like this. All right, so now we're going to import something and you can find this on the website or Facebook. I'll put a link up in the description where you can get the head occluder. Let me just import it. All right, so this is what you get from the files on uh, the link in the description. If you click on the mesh button here, uh, there's the head occluder object and we're going to use that in our Spark AR project. All right, so I removed my webcam because we need to click this button that says add asset Click on import from computer and make sure to import the face occluder.fbx. All right, so now you should have this head occluder object. Let's just put it into our face tracker here. And you already kind of see something weird going on here. All right, so now that we've added the head occluder into our face tracker, let me just show you what I did here. Uh, the head occluder will come with a material that's called Lambert 1. And let me, let me just show you what it looks like in the beginning. You'll see like a big gray 3D object. And this is basically a 3D object that's tracking your face, um, but because your camera won't register your actual face as a 3D object because your camera is flat, you know, it's filming like a video. It's not filming you in 3D space. Uh, we need to trick Spark AR into thinking that there's a 3D object in which the chain is rotating around. As you can see right here, the head occluder, the 3D object that is, is following our face. We're gonna basically make the head invisible, but to the camera, but not for our chain. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to put the blend mode to add, change the color to white, and then lower the opacity to zero. And you basically already kind of see what's going to happen here, but we need to make the chains a child of the head occluder, like this. And then the head occluder needs to be on top of here, like so. All right, and now you can kind of see what's happening here. <clears throat> It's already going pretty well here. The chains are behind the head, but I want to move the chains uh, a little bit back so that it's like rotating in the middle of our head. So we're going to do that by changing the Z position to maybe like 0 0.5. That's way too much. <laughs> Minus 15, I think. Yeah, this should be fine. And as you can see, it's already fixed. Um, so one thing I did in what you didn't see was so I changed the scale of the 3D object to 1.2 to make it a little bit bigger, as you can see, like around the edge here but where, at his ears. Uh, it's a little bit inaccurate, but it looks a bit better this way, in my opinion. Uh, the one last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chains also up a little bit. So maybe like 0 0.2, even 0 0.3 maybe. All right. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I know it was a real quick one, but I wanted to give you some closure on this because I was kind of running into the problem. And yes, someone in the comments actually helped me out. In this case, a big YouTuber, which was really nice of him. So I'm glad I could give this tutorial series some closure. I want to take the moment in this video to thank my patrons. Because of my patrons, I'm actually able to create these tutorials for you guys, create more products and more Instagram content. Uh, so if you don't know, if you become a patron, you'll get access to all of the project files for my tutorials, including this one as well as a 15% discount in the Dreadlabs web store and a cool Discord role. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or you can join us on Discord. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.